Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at pivot tables and we are going to add some calculated fields. So here is the final result that we want to find. Um, it's basically we've got the, the names of some salespeople, they're 20 and 21 sales. And we wanted to add the calculated field of growth percentage and dollar growth or sales growth. Um, now, if you have a look at the raw data, growth and dollar growth isn't in here. It's basically just a raw data table of sales. So these are calculated fields and they are dynamic. So if we didn't want full name as our pivot table description and we wanted, say, the product type, it would automatically and dynamically change to the product type. If you wanted to nest that in there with full name and product type, that would also automatically change. So let's get started. It's really handy. It's a, it's a quick and easy tool once you get used to it. And we'll show you how to get this result from our raw data set over here. So to get started, we are going to simply create a pivot table. This is the raw data set that I've used in previous videos for those who've watched me before. For those who haven't watched, um, please subscribe to the channel or, uh, or click that like button and check out some more videos. So um, uh, what we're going to do is highlight the cells of data, the table of data, go up to the ribbon, select insert, insert pivot table, go down to I'm just going to select a new worksheet and it's going to be sheet number one and now I have my pivot table to get started now to get started I will use the full name um, as the row and I'll put years over the top in the columns and I will add in the values so just to tidy this up I'm going to go to the design in the ribbon and we're going to take off the grand totals and I'm going to also just change the sum of value field settings by clicking into the field settings down arrow here and going to the option of value field settings change the number format we'll make this a currency and take off the decimal points. Press OK. So now it's just tidied up that information. Now, what I want to do is add a growth uh, column into here. So typically I would go up to the pivot table analyze option in the ribbon and go down to field items and sets. But the one I want is actually calculated item and that's been grayed out. So what we need to do is actually click onto one of the headings of the field that you want to add that calculation to go back up to the field items and sets. And now we have the option of calculated item. So we'll select that and we'll now create the new formula and we'll call the formula growth percentage. And we'll take out what's in the formula press equals and what I'm going to do is I've already the year's already selected because it's in the pivot table already and I'm going to double click 2021 and if we divide 2021 sales by 2020 and minus one which is the mathematical growth formula and press OK we now have a growth percentage the fact is that it's Actually, this field is a value field and we, and we set it to currency before. So I'm simply going to highlight this field, go to home and change it to a percentage. And now you can see that the new field has been added, growth percentage. Very, very simple, really easy. And like I said, if we change the row from full name to say full name and product everything is dynamic and gets updated with that new formula that we've added into the pivot table so that's really really easy um, I'll just do another one just to 
double check that we're all okay with how this works. So we'll go back into uh, the pivot table analyze in the in the ribbon. Go to fields, items, and sets. We're going to create another calculated item, and this time we'll call it uh, instead of percentage growth, we'll call it value growth. And in the formula, it's basically 2021 sales minus 2020 sales will give you the growth in sales from year on year. And we can press OK, and that's been added in there. So really, really simple. That's how you would add in a calculated field on a field with one particular icon, which is the in this instance, the year, the year on year growth, and we just wanted to add some calculated items or calculated fields there. So hopefully that made sense, um, and I hope it comes in handy for you. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.